In this section of the course, we will understand the system of fits, the nomenclature associated with it and how to decode and apply different types of fits using standards for various applications. So when we talk about mechanical design, shafts and holes are the most common type of features which are generally used for assembly and mating in mechanical design in interfaces. So the interface between the shaft and the hole is, is defined by a fit and fit is said to be the degree of looseness or tightness between two mating parts. So if you take any mechanical design which is having multiple parts, it will have shafts and holes which are associated and which is having mating features. So the definition of those mating features is generally done by defining the fit. So if you are having a shaft and a hole as shown over here, the relative difference between the size of the shaft that is the OD of the shaft and the ID of the hole will define the nature of fit the degree of looseness or tightness between these two parts. So generally there can be three distinct types of fits. First is the clearance fit. So clearance fit is when we are having an oversized hole and an undersized shaft. So the shaft is much smaller than the hole and so when the shaft is inserted inside the hole there is some amount of clearance. So an example would be the pin in the pin joint of a hinge. So that pin should have some clearance with respect to the hole and that is a clearance fit. The other extreme is interference fit in which the shaft is larger than the hole that is the OD of the shaft is larger than the ID of the hole and this results in interference. So in this case if you want to assemble the shaft into the hole we need to apply some amount of force and that amount of force is directly proportional to the how much interference is taking place between the shaft and the hole. One example is a bearing which is press fitted onto a shaft. So the bearing has an interference fit with the shaft. So the function also is to fasten the bearing onto the shaft and hence you can see that the functional requirements of an interference fit might be different from that of a clearance fit. And then there is the transition fit which is the case in which the hole and shaft size are almost the same size and hence the assembly will not require that much amount of force. You can say that the snug fit is an example of a transition fit. The amount of force required for assemble will not be as high as compared to interference fit but also there will not be clearance for relative motion between the shaft and the hole as in the case of clearance fit. Each of these types of fits have their own applications in mechanical design. One example of interference fit is the assembly of a ball joint onto the control arm of a suspension. So one arrangement of the suspension control arm is in which the ball joint is press fitted onto the control arm. There are other ways of assembling also but this is one way of doing it. So in this case the interference fit has to be defined between the control arm hole and the ball joint OD.